Great day to everyone. This is Edward Atchenza and I am a licensed civil engineer in the Philippines. This will be my second video for the discussion on the earth pressure. Uh, the, and I am also using JU5 software to compare the manual calculation with the uh, calculated uh, value for the JU5 software. All of the problems that I will be using on my video uh, regarding on JU5 technical uh, engineering will be taken from foundation analysis and designed by Joseph Boyles. Any comment and suggestion, please write on the comment below and I will try to work it out on it. So, all right, let's have the second problem. So on the screen, uh, you can see that I have a problem. Uh, I have an example here. What is the total active force per meter of the wall? Then there's the solution and given that uh, all of the requirements are the given is that uh, beta is 10 degrees, theta is 30 degrees, then the coefficient of pressure will be 0 0.3495 directly substituting into equation 11-9. Then the, uh, the the active pressure will be uh, computed as 76.6 kilonewton meter. Then uh, from this uh, using a column equation, uh, makukuha naman natin yung ano, horizontal and vertical force components which are uh, 74.4 uh, 75.4 kilonewton at 13.3 kilonewton. So, uh, ito yung kailangan natin ma-verify uh, using uh, JO5. We're just going to compare kung uh, uh, at least uh, we have a manual calculation and also at the same time we can have a kung mas mabilis yung calculation na kailangan natin, then we can use the uh, software. So, uh, let's try to open up a JU5. So, all right. So, here in JU5, uh, uh, we have to, uh, when we go to the project tab, then uh, kailangan nating uh, maglagay dito sa task. Then, we have description and also for the author. So, once we have start to input the uh, earth pressure here on the task, so automatic na kaset na kagad yung ating uh, JO5. Then, next is we are going to the geometry. Here in the geometry naman, we, uh, uh, since our height is 5 meters, so halos wala na tayong uh, gagawin dito. Then, next is the... All right. So the next is our geometry. Here on our geometry, uh, we have to add the 5 meters. Yung default nito is 0. So we have to add, then 5 meters, then OK. Then our next will be the tab for the profile. Here in our profile, uh, profile, we have to add also a, we have to add also 5 meters. So, add again, 5 meters. So, ibig sabihin, yun yung total depth ng ating uh, earth for uh, consideration for the analysis. Then, our next scene will be uh, the tab for the soil. Here on the soil, uh, we have to, in, uh, for all of the soil parameters, we are going to take it from the uh, geotech report. So, walang uh, data na hindi magagaling dito. And all of the information that we require will always be there. Okay. Then, uh, let's try to see the uh, input. So, sa soil 1, so our unit weight will be 17.52. Then, our angle of internal friction will be 30. Then, our angle of friction from structural to soil will be 10 degrees. Then, our saturated unit weight will be 17.52. Then, we're, we're going to prepare it at uh, at least sand pa rin. Okay. So, ito na po yung ating soil parameters. We have encoded it. Then, next. Next will be... Uh, how we're going to assign our soil. So, automatic, wala, uh, isa lang naman yung soil natin. So, okay na to. Then, next is our terrain. 
So here on our terrain, uh, kailangan lang natin dito is pumunta dito sa slope angle because our slope angle will be 10 degrees. So ito yung uh, iba na uh, from the previous uh, problem that we have encountered. Then next is wala naman tayong water table, wala tayong surcharge, wala tayong earthquake, at wala tayong stage setting. So pwede na natin tong i-analyze. Then once we analyze it, ito na po yung ating final uh, uh, calculation at mga forces. Meron tayong 75.38 at a depth of 3.33, then 13.28. So let's try to compare it with the book and also with uh, our J5. All right, hindi pa pala napapalipat. Okay, on our word, makikita naman natin that uh, here on the left side will be uh, the calculation that is prepared by the by our book. Then on the right side naman is by our uh, computer software, which is the JO5. If you're going to compare, it's almost the same. 75.38 against 75.4, 13.3 kilonewtons against 13.29. So it's almost the same value pa rin. And the height, uh, it's uh, H over 3. So it will be H over 3. So that's it. We have another uh, we have finished one more uh, problem, and this is using again by J of 5. So, do we need to have a recap? So, sige, a very, very uh, fast recap. So, first, on the project, we need to take the task, uh, the task, the description, and also for the author to set it up. Then, next, uh, it will be on the geometry. So on the geometry, we're going to pick the add button. Then we're going to add for five, uh, five meters. Then next is the profile. So here in the profile, we're going to add five meters. Ibig sabihin, ganun yung height ng ano, ng ating soil. Then next, it will be on our soil. We're going to... Uh, encode or input all of the soil parameters from the uh, all of the data will be coming from the geotech report then next uh, we're going to assign the soil so isa lang naman yung soil layer natin kaya we don't need to do anything right now then next is we're going to uh, go to the terrain tab so here on the terrain tab ang papalitan lang naman natin dito is the slope angle that it will be 10 degrees then the last one is our uh, final report that has came from uh, JO5. So ito na po yung ating uh, session for this uh, for today, and I hope may natutunan po kayo uh, from day one uh, from my first video and now for my second video. Uh, thank you very much and God bless to everyone, and uh, I hope everyone stay safe po. Maraming salamat po sa lahat.